Hey guys, today I'm going to be going in depth into the Helix editor, uh, which is my preferred editor and why you should use it. Uh, now the Helix editor, it's it's a lot more simple than something like Neo Vim, right? They're, it's not as customizable, but I reckon for something simple, it gets the job done and it does it well, especially for someone who needs to edit code. Now, I use Helix on a daily basis just for practicing my Rust. Uh, I do have NeoVim installed, but I've kind of forgotten all the binds. So yeah, I have a pretty, pretty interesting, pretty interesting NeoVim setup, right? If I go into a demo here and I go into, uh, let's see, let's see what I have. Uh, uh, C-Convert. Right, if I NeoVim into here, find file main.rs now i have a simple currency converting thing here so i don't know the language server works fine as you can see i'm getting hints i don't know i'm just not a fan of neovim i don't know the binds that well i don't know i've kind of forgotten it but i don't know helix in my opinion looks not nice it's more clean it's less less cluttered like there's things you can't get confused about you won't find yourself bumping random key binds if you're new to things oh my bad uh the the config it's really really easy to get started language server looks beautiful when it loads absolutely amazing provides the um description of the command air and function too uh it can show documents. It, it works like a normal language server, right? It's just a lot simpler to configure. So first thing I would recommend doing is let's take a look at the uh, doc big crash helix. Now this would just be your instead of dot files instead of dot files, you just do uh, helix slash dot config helix and there, there we go. This is my Helix configuration, right? And um, so basically, basically you can set the theme, right? That, that's just basically the same as going like that. Uh, except I have mine set on. So I, li I, I like the theme, there's a lot to choose from. Uh, and then now we have the editor themes, uh, editor settings, sorry. Uh, so mouse equals false, that basically disables you from using your mouse, even though I. I am using it, but um, it's not smaller terminal selection than mouse. So if I was to set mouse true, then reload on big reload, I would be able to click and select things like this. But I'm not a fan of that. I just like keyboard. And so we have the nine lumber, right? If we if I didn't have that. If I didn't have that it would uh sometimes it goes into a different mode it looks fun some people may like the default mode it comes with I, I couldn't show you I don't know why it didn't work uh, color mode I don't know that just it inlay hints inlay hints this is something you might like uh so in VS code uh you can get hints onto uh, you can get hints into what the type of uh, object is right so when we analyze the loads, we should be getting some hints. Right now, my theme is not configured for inlay hints, so it looks kind of ugly, but I'm sure you could configure it for it. So as we can see, the, our type output is uh, uh, float64, f64, the type underscore c convert is a string, and the type arguments is probably struct args. Um, yeah, simple as it gets. Uh, me personally, I don't like it on. Second thing important is the editor cursor shape. Now, I like it like this because it looks like a nice little, like, clean look. When it's not, when it's not configured, it's like a, a bar, this, like, ugly block all the time. It looks foul. Editor file picker. Um, I actually can't remember what this does. Editor status line. Um, this just shows what we have here at the bottom here. I don't know, it's not that important. Uh... Uh, here we go. We have some bindings, but the real the real thing lies at the at the uh, languages dot So it, it will automatically uh, 
it will automatically detect the language server and set it up. I mean, you can do some configurations if you want, and that is usually helpful. You can set up a lot of language servers with this. So I have Rust automatically set up. I only had that just for some messing around. Language HTML, that one was needed to set up to change from another language server to M uh, language server. I have the CSS language server, I have the Go language server, and I have the Astro language server set up. So yeah. The thing I do recommend is that Helix does not have its own its own uh, terminal. So I use I use it with the Lige. The Lige. Get that in my video. Nah. But I use it with the Lige, and normally I can just run cargo run in the directory of my code, and then I can hide it. You can also do tabs. And I like that because Helix doesn't really have. I mean, it kind of has tabs. Uh, so I go the config cover. So I have a thing in my config. Uh, that will allow me to uh, buffer line multiple. So this is the buffer line. It shows you what you have open, and with space B, leader B, whatever you want to call it, you can see your uh, open buffers, and I can switch to this one. So now I'm in this configuration. The other one is still showing open. Without that, uh, you will not see this buffer line. Uh, I suppose it's a very simple setup uh, to get working. Works amazing, syntax highlighting out of the box. You don't need much configuration and link for my dot files will be in the description.